Hi guys and welcome to C Sharp tutorial of a currency converter. I'm going to reset and let's enter whatever in there. So let's select the country that we want to convert it to, the country's currency, and that is the US equivalent of 7863 is approximately 12,000 plus okay the exchange rate if you guys want to get the the right exchange rate just go online and uh, you can always get that sorted most of the details i have in here is just made okay so i want to exit out and let's take you guys straight into C sharp development environment and we start a new project. So I'm going to right click and let's select Visual Studio 2022. So I'm going to select create new. And once that is ready, make sure the template you're using is Windows Forms application.net. This very one. Okay. You should be able to get that in here. All right. Now let's click on next click on next i'm going to give my project a name i'm going to call it cs underscore currency converter and click on wait there we go right and i now have my form so i'm going to change the size of the form so let's come in here and just make it 1000 plus so i made that 1000 the width 1800 by 1070 there we go we're just going straight into the form load if i double click on that i can just go straight in, into the form load here and say this dot the width I'm going to make that 1,000. I think it's 1,000. Let's see, 1,200. If not, I'm going to have to change that. Then the height. This dot height. I'm going to make that about 700. There we go and i also want to get it center this dot center screen there okay so if i run it i should be able to get the screen centered and look at the size that's the size that i defined all right that's brilliant so let's come back in here now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the panel here so let's go into tools if you so what I need is the panel. Let's see, where is that? Yeah. And just drag it that much. And I'm gonna come to the back color here. Let's change the back color to yeah, that will do. Now hold on to the control, click and drag, just copy across and drag this that much. Yeah, that's fine. Let's copy this again, drag it that much, and it down. Okay, looking good. Now up here, I'm going to add a label. Come straight to the toolbox. Okay, we can see our text box here. I'm going to need that anyways. Let's dump one there. Now back in here, let's look for a label. There we go, we have a label here. I'm just going to copy that label, bring it down. I need about four of those here. And one more. There we go. And I need buttons. I'm going to need three of those. Grab a button, dump it right there. Brilliant. Okay. So we need one label here as well. And one label there. And I'm going to need a pump. 
There we go. Close here. And there we go. All right, so I can close this because I now have all of the component that I need. This label here, let's change that to currency converter and increase the font size to something we can see. Let's see, 72. Let's see that. Okay, that's not too bad. That's good. Just leave it like that. Now, this label here. I'm going to make that about 30. Okay. 32. Okay. Make this about 30 as well. And this one 30 as well. It's 30 regular. All right. And you see this very label, I'm going to convert it to something like a text box so let's come right here you see where we have uh yeah, selected auto size make that false yeah and the color for that label we can change it to white and uh, border style make it fix 3d and let's just drag it out much and get rid of the text content in there as well delete there we go now for these buttons i'm going to need three of those one here and one right here select all the buttons come right here let's increase the font size maybe about 40 there okay that's fine let's type bring it down a little bit all right and change the date the data in this that is exit and the name is going to be bt and exit there and this is going to be bt and reset Come right down here, change that to reset. And here, that's going to be known as convert. Or maybe, con yeah, convert we do. And change the name to BTN convert. There. Okay, this one here. Let's change the font size of those ones to i'm going to make them bold let's say 30 bold i'll make it 32 as it be more pronounced 32 bold right the first one here i'm going to change it to amount to convert let's say amount to convert there next that's going to be from currency and followed by to currency and this is going to be known as amounts amount converted Okay, looking good. And here, I might as well copy this. I can always copy whatever I need in the other one. So select this, select this combo box. And let's give that combo box a name. I think maybe I should call it CMB. CMB from currency. Right. And the next one is going to be known as CMB to currency. And here, I'm going to call that LBL amount converted. 
LBL amount converted. And here, I don't think that has a name. I'm going to change that to TXT convert. There we go. Now let's select this combo box. On this very combo box, I intend to enter the names of all of the yeah. or I can always put that on my form on form load. Yeah. I think that will make life easy. Let's do that on form load. So grab this name. Now let's double click on form load right there. So on the form load, the very first thing I'm going to do is cmd from currency dot text. And the very first text that is going to be GBP British Great Britain pounds dash and I just enter Britain there. There we go. Semi call. Now I'm going to repeat the same thing for the others. So this is the text you will see on that very first one when I run it now. Check that out. You see that? Okay. So I can come right down here and just enter all of the countries. So let's come down here and just say combo dot items dot add. And what am I adding? The very first one is going to be Great Britain. Grab hold of this. And just dump it in a bracket. Yeah. There. So I'm going to need about 12 of those. So I just. There. Ah, let's make it 10. Alright, that's 5. Next. Okay, that's for the very first one. Okay, the second one is going to be. Oh. Okay, but let's take care of one at a time. So I can always copy and change the other ones. So the next one here is going to be, let's make that Canada. So this will become Canada, Canadian. Canadian dollar. There we go. And here I'm going to make that Nigeria Naira. And G N. And here I'm going to make that Mexico. So this will become Mexican pizzas. Pizzas. And Let's go for Euro. Now let me change that to Euro. Next. Swiss. So this one will be called Swiss France. Uh, Australia. Yeah, why not? So this will become Australia. Then maybe China. And why? So that's going to be Chinese yen. Then we have uh, the Indian rupee. Indian rupee. And let's add USA as well. So United States dollar. Yeah. There we go. So if I run that now, that should be what I'll see here. There. 
Okay, you can just select and change it to whatever you want. So let's copy that and use it to change this one around as well. So I'm going to copy this, paste it right underneath here, and come here. And this one is two currency. Paste it. Yeah. So just copy that and just place all of this. Okay, guys, let's run it and see how that's going to look like. There we go. And there. Uh, so that's fine. So what is left for us now is to put together some lines of code. Let's take care of the exit first so we double click on exit and right here i'm going to say dialog result well that's going to be i exit and i'm going to make that i exit that's going to be equals message box message box dot show you just need to say confirm if you want to exit. I'll come right here, comma, and just enter the name of your project in there. So that's currency converter. I'll come right here with the method of yes or no. There. And I'm going to accept question. There we go. All right, come right down and let's use conditional statement if I exit equals dialog result. I'm going to accept that. Um, I'll just say application dot close or close. Yeah, that will do. There we go. So I've just taken care of my exit. Okay, so let's take care of. Reset. I'm going to copy that so that you prompt the user to confirm if they really want to reset as, as well. So let's come in there and just change the variable name reset. All right, so we change all of these to reset. Confirm if you want to reset and change this to reset. Confirm if you want to reset. So if the answer is yes, we just want this we want it to be reset then we want the other one cleared okay let's clear that one paste and that is t2 and change that to clear then txt on that dot text equals clear and txt is convert dot text dot focus then I want ldl dot text equals clear so I should take care of my reset Check that out. Okay, instead of question mark here, yeah, you can always change that to something like exclamation. So let's run that. Run. Right here. Enter whatever in here. And change this to whatever you want. And reset. Confirm if you want to reset. No, I don't want to reset. Yes, I do want to reset. You want to exit? Yeah. There we go. That's it. So, with that for now, guys, I'm going to call that the end of the first part of this tutorial, and I'll see you guys shortly.